Hello again, everybody, and welcome to another segment of Hollywood Memories. I'm Dan Roberts, the publisher of The Vegas Voice, and I get the great pleasure of hosting this segment with my favorite columnist, and that is Beverly Washburn. And today, after I say hello to Beverly, she's going to introduce our extremely very special guest, so you take it away. Thank you, Dan, and thanks to all of you for watching. Yes, I am very excited because we've been doing this little segment for a while now, and it's always so much fun to invite my friends, and they all have wonderful memories. Well, sitting next to me is one of my dearest friends in the whole world. In fact, we call each other sis. And you will remember her from a lot of things, one, of course, being Kiss and Cousins. She starred with the one and only Elvis Presley. She had her own series called Margie. She was on My Three Sons and on and on and on, but I'm gonna let her tell you because she's got so many wonderful stories and I am so honored and so grateful to have my very special you, sis, Cynthia Pepper, as our thank guest today. My little sis. <laughs> we'll go into that later. <laughs> I thank you so much for being here, Cynthia. Thank I, you. Again, Me too. I, I am, I'm amazed when Beverly brings in her friends, her, her guests, that they have been their whole lives already as a child in Hollywood. And yet, you started out in Broadway. Tell us about how old you were and how did you even get involved in that? Well, I came from a show business family. My okay. dad was in vaudeville and um, he did go overseas with Bob Hope to entertain the troops. He was one of the court people in the troupe. And my mother was a dancer with Siegfeld Follies and the um, Billy Rose Review. And so I, it was a natural thing for me to get in into show business. We lived in a hotel in New York called the Windsor Hotel, which I think is still there. Yeah. And they told me I slept in the drawer for a <laughs> while. Anyway, and so uh, I have a sister who went to school there. And then I, I don't know how it happened, but I got a, a chance to play Julie Harris's sister. Right. It was her debut. She was 18 and I was about three or four years old. And I also modeled for Conover um, Studios. And uh, and I do kind of remember things, you know, about that. So you were a Broadway actress yeah. at how old? I would say four. <laughs> and you didn't sign autographs at No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I could barely speak, I think. Yeah. Yeah. It, and when you did it, was it did you find it work? Beverly always said it was fun, it was enjoyment. What about you? Did, did you enjoy doing it? I, I sure did. I enjoyed it. I was a ham, I think. You know, it came from that kind of a family, so that's all I knew. That's all I ever wanted to do. So I was fortunate enough to do it. But um, no, it was a, it's a kid's play sometimes, you know? It's playtime. But you have to still behave. You have to behave. And I was, yeah. Were you able to learn your lines? I don't know if I had any lines. Uh, I think someone, I think I had a line. Someone said, "It's something." Did you take a bath? And I think I said, "As a four-year-old, right? Is one missing?" Yeah. <laughs> I remember that, and probably that was. I don't know if I said anything else, but I, that's, I remember that. But no stage fright. No, uh, not now. Uh, I think it would be. Now you'll be nervous. <laughs> now I'd be very yeah. nervous. But as a kid, you would. No. Same thing with you. You it never bothered you. Well, I don't think we knew any better. <laughs> you know, kids play. They play house and they play, you know, take on different roles as children and just if, even if they're not in the business. And I think it was just a natural exactly. extension of us. Right. Which I I can see that, but the idea of having to have a set line, mm -hmm. and then people are watching you and all over, and it never again never bothered you. I, no matter how I try and get it out of you, it never bothered you, and it never bothered you either. No. Okay. Then wait. Now I'm going to wait now. Uh oh. But then we're going. You went from TV, but I want to discuss Hollywood first. Okay. And you were in a movie with this gentleman by the name of Elvis Presley. Yes. Okay. Name of the movie. What did you do? Claim the fame, etc., okay. etc. Kissing cousins. Uh, he played two parts. The only time he played two parts, he played an army Elvis and a country Elvis. And I played an army lady, so I ended up with the country Elvis. He had a blonde wig because he had, he naturally was a blonde, a brunette, but uh, he had it dyed because he thought, the story was that he loved Tony Curtis's dark hair and blue eyes, that look. So uh, he hated the wig, so it took him a long time to come out of the dressing room. And uh, <laughs> I was a big fan of Elvis's in the 50s. I heard Heartbreak would tell him, oh, Elvis, you know. And uh, then the, I, I didn't even have to read for it. My agent called me on a Friday, and I had done some work on my three sons and different things we could we'll get into. That too, yeah. But 
she said, he said, are you sitting down? And I said, well, I will. He said, well, Elvis saw you on something because he liked to watch a lot of TV. And he said, I don't know what it was, but if you can go to MGM Studios and go to Warner, Bro and Warner Brothers wardrobe department right. and try on the uniform, if it fits, you're co-starring with Elvis on Monday. Is, isn't that like a... That's a dream. Okay. That's a dream. And I, in my dressing room, there were roses that said, to Cynthia, love EP. And I went, oh, he's got a crush on me. <laughs> no, he, I, he did that with all those leading ladies. And then I met him and I said to him, we were the, I think the assistant director introduced us from, I came down from the, you know, the dressing room and said, uh, Elvis, this is Cynthia Pepper. She's playing Midge Riley. And I went to shake his hand and he said, honey, don't give me an old hand, give me a big old hug. Aww, and he was sweet. just wonderful. He was, I mean, I could tell stories, but uh, I, it's in my book, but right. this is a theme of Elvis, my book, but it's not an Elvis book, it's a show business book. I call it the good and the bad, not too ugly. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yes. And when, when you were rehearsing, doing scenes mm -hmm. with Elvis, mm -hmm. Were you still a professional, or did you look at him and say, oh my God, it's freaking Elvis? He sang a love song to me. He, okay, I mean. The song was Old Shenandoah, it was Old Shenandoah, yeah. but they put the tender feelings, so it was taken from that old uh, folk song. And, and we uh, shot it in Big Bear, which was supposed to be the Smoky Mountains. And he was like this, excuse me, this way. And I'm looking up at Elvis, I'm thinking, oh my God, Elvis Presley is singing to me, and I'm getting paid for it. Yeah. You know, I mean, <laughs> I just couldn't believe that Elvis was singing to me. And we, we had many conversations, and we became friends afterwards, too. I mean, besides singing, you also shared a, a kiss. Yes. Well, yeah, I like to Wait, say. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, I, I trip. He comes to kiss me, and I'm. I don't like him in the movie. I mean, I'm shunning him, right? In the movie. Right. I'm just going. Oh, you're a creepy little guy. You know. Elvis. But anyway, I trip him. I, he taught me to to throw him, and I do. And then he pulls me down on the ground, and I tell people, you know, what was it like to kiss Elvis? I said, well, let's put it this way. I kind of goofed up a bit. I liked it so much. <laughs> you know, the, excuse me, Gene Nelson directed it, who I had a big crush on him, uh, who used to do the Doris Day movies, Gene Nelson. And I said, Gene, the light man was, hey, honey, let's do it again, baby. And I went, oh, my God. <laughs> but he was a wonderful man. I had a lot of uh, stories as far as uh, making uh, practical jokes on him. And uh, I did one with, because of James Dean, who had called me on my 15th birthday because of my daddy on the giant set and I kind of got him with that because he loved James Dean right and he wanted to be an actor like James Dean I think he could have but he was he was tied to the movies okay now watch this now you you kissed Elvis now wait a minute now one one thing that everybody wants to know who did you have your first kiss with that would be Spike also known as Old Yeller. So, oh, you meant a human one. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I so love that had, story. Had Elvis and you had a dog. Well, right? hey, not right? too bad. But, I but, love dogs. But your first on-screen kiss. Uh, that, would, um, that was with Martin Sheen, and it was in the second movie that he ever did, and he was wonderful. Just. And what was the name of the movie? Because I don't think it received well, any Oscar nominations. No, it was called When the Line Goes Through. Right. And it was written and directed by Clyde Ware, who was a friend of Martin Sheen's. So this was the second movie he ever did. And um, it was it just kind of came and went. Nothing ever happened. And uh, a friend of mine actually found it one day in some obscure antique shop. He called me and he said, I found your movie, the one with Martin Sheen, and it was in the, I, I'm going to send it to you, it's on VHS. So I said, that'd be great, thank you. So he sends it to me, and on the side of it, he had <laughs> put a little sticker that said, caution, contents may cause drowsiness. <laughs> <laughs> that should give you a clue how good the movie was. But working with Martin Sheen, it was all worth wow. it. Wow. And you also worked with Martin Sheen. Uh, well, I did a U.S. Deal Hour in 62. Uh, 61, two, I think. And I've seen it on YouTube. Someone showed me. Oh my God! And uh, I was with uh, Tommy Sands. I played his girlfriend, and it was about a, a man, a young guy who stuttered. And in those days, they were making fun of him at the yeah. office. And a guy who I really loved was um, Simon Oakland, who was a character actor, and he was in it. He played the heavy, and he sang. We both sang K -K Katie, Tommy, and I. And there was there was Martin Sheen played uh, Tommy's best friend, and there was George Siegel who only had a few lines, not, you know, not many lines. And funny thing about it is that um, Glenda Farrell played um, Tommy Sands' mother, and in Kissing Cousins, she played Elvis's mother wow. as, as the country Elvis. I thought, that is strange. But that's the theme of things happening you know, in my life. 
again, we're running out of time, but I haven't even started yet. When you, when you performed with Martin Sheen or George Siegel, did you have any idea these guys are stars, or are they just regular, regular guys? Well, George Siegel wasn't a star, you know, that famous. Martin Sheen was, and Tommy Sands was a heartthrob. I used to sit in the back of the limousine. We, we filmed it in New York. We rehearsed for three or four weeks like a play, and I'd sit in the back of the limo with Nancy Sinatra, who was married, I mean, who was, yeah, married to Tommy at the time, and we chit-chat and stuff, and I, I was more, and all of that, I thought that was kind of cool. That was kind of cool. And I think everything's kind of cool, yeah. actually, I do. <laughs> you know, I mean, we're out of time already. And oh, oh no. wait, we haven't started. I'm gonna, if you don't mind, and if Beverly lets me come back, I would <laughs> love to have, I would love to have you come back. We can yes. do three, four, five yeah. minutes. We have we to have any, her back. She's got tons of We haven't stories. even touched the TV stuff, and I got all these notes here. I think I got to one of them. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that I that was about much? it. So I'd like to have you back, but let me do this. Talk a little bit about your book. What's it about? How did yeah, you get it? Yeah, my book is, um, like I said, I, I uh, filmed it. I wrote it with a good friend, Victor Hansen, who lives in Canada. We did it over the computer and um, the phone and all that kind of thing. They came to Vegas and visited us. I wanted to do something because people said, why don't you write a book? Probably with Beverly, too, they have said that. Right. And I said, well, maybe I will. You know, that, so that's how it started. I said, I want to start at the beginning, like with the New York thing. And uh, I said, I don't want it salacious. I want enough to interest because my son, I have a son who's grown up, and you know, I want to leave a legacy, nice legacy, but there's enough in there with family. Okay. Family, because my, yeah, we were quite dysfunctional at times, like a lot of people. Yeah. But I wanted to write it, and there's a lot of people I worked with, and uh, I always thought that the there was a th thread of Elvis in the whole thing. I found, you know, the six degrees of Kevin it's Bacon. Yeah. That's what it kind of comes to, and uh, it's more of a show business book, but I, uh, I have really good. Uh, Feedback with it. Yes, and you can get it on Amazon. You get it on Amazon. Amazon. And a plug for yourself. Real Tears, how do you get it? The same, Amazon, but about Cynthia's book. It's a fascinating read. I, I hope everybody oh. will well, buy and it. You too, honey. See, <laughs> we'll give each other $20 well, that, 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 That's just fantastic how you go on. No, we're, 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 we love we, each other. We love each other. We, two peas in a pod. So. You guys. I, I mean, we're way over our time. I'm sorry. We'll be <laughs> Thank you. Again, I, again, we'd like to have you back. Yes. Oh, I'd love to. Okay, Beverly, if that's okay with Absolutely, you. Absolutely, I would love that. Me too. Well, uh, well I'll, I'll, we can, do, we can Dan, just talk. <laughs> no, Dan, seriously, no, listen, couldn't do this without you. Thank you. I thank you. both of you ladies you're, so, so much. You're delightful. Oh, I've been called other things, but I'll take <laughs> that. You right are now. delightful, and that's a good thing. And if you would like more information, if you'd like to get... Uh, more of our segments. We are definitely going to have Cynthia back. Of course, Beverly's now a regular. But please, please, please hit that subscribe button because it doesn't cost you anything. And the more we get hits like that, the easier it is for us to do these shows. So I thank you as thank always. Thank you. An absolute pleasure. Oh, I thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank, you. thank you. And thank you. this is Dan Roberts for Hollywood Memory saying we'll see you again next time.